going on guys and welcome back to another build video this build video is for the ultra predator which is a night blade one bar gank build dual wield so we'll jump straight into the sets uh, the sets i'm running is the witch knight swords two sharpened one with a weapon damage enchantment and one with a absorb stamina enchantment we're running a medium balorg mask a medium shattered fate jack a light balorg epaulet a medium shattered fate belt medium braces uh, medium guards medium boots uh, Witch Knight's Amulet, Infused Weapon Damage. Witch Knight's Ring, Infused Weapon Damage. And the Oaken Soul Ring, Infused Weapon Damage. Uh, so this combination, uh, when you're fully buffed up with uh, Continuous Attack, so capturing a uh, resource, uh, resource uh, point in Cyrodiil, the weapon damage will stack up to about 8.5k which is insane and the pen will hit around uh, 27k uh, so you'll cut through most people as the damage is super super high uh, and the explanation of the sets so i've put on shattered fate as it is just one of the best sets in the game as it allows you to run more medium than you probably normally would um as you are getting so much penetration from the set normally I'd run a lot more light as you need the penetration but with a uh, shattered fate because it's giving you 800 penetration you can run full medium to boost your critical damage that is why I'm only running uh, one light piece on the shoulders and the rest is full medium and doing that is allowing me to get very close to the uh, crit cap i think one of the swords i should have had uh, precise maybe and i think i would have hit about 71 72 and i think um one of the pieces yeah is um not golded out so it could it's quite close 69 percent at the 50 base that's 119 percent critical damage bonus um, and we are achieving that through the uh, Shadow Mundus and being a Khajiit. As a Khajiit will give you more critical damage bonus. So we are stacking into crit damage. But you're also getting... Even though we're stacking into crit damage, you're still getting super high weapon damage and super high pen. Um, obviously, we're running the Balorg because it just stacks the most uh, weapon damage and penetration. Uh, one of the best sets that's heavily used in PvP. And um, the other set, which was obviously there's four pieces remaining, I've been recommended this set. And it is a brilliant set as the four pieces will give you just lines of weapon and spell damage. Um, so I think this is probably the best in slot for the combination. As because we are running a monster set and a mythic, we're down to four pieces. Um, so if we go into the skills, the skills have remained the same from the previous build. Um, when I was running uh, Flame Blossom. So the Merciless Resolve, so you do two heavy attacks and then you can obviously fire this at someone, it hits incredibly hard. Better than the Impale or the Vampire Execute in my opinion. We've got the Shrewd Offering which is obviously your heal over time, uh, burst heal sorry. And obviously having that slotted you get extra magicka. Whirling Blades which hits very nice. Um, concealed weapon which will give you your major berserk off balance minor expedition and obviously your shadowy disguise and obviously the dawnbreaker 
which obviously hits very very hard you can swap that out for the um, incapacitating strike but I just prefer the Dawnbreaker and obviously next patch I think they're making that into a more of a cone attack it's meant to hit a lot easier so I would definitely stick with the Dawnbreaker um, obviously you want to make sure you've got your Vampire as you want the Dark Stalker passive uh, sorry not the Dark Strike from the Shadows as you'll get more damage and obviously you're undeath, so when you're low on health you'll take less damage. Um, you make sure you have your assault for lines in for continuous attack because that will give you extra extra weapon damage when you capture a resource if you're in Cyrodiil. Um Like I said, the um, the stamina recovery is not too bad. Um, but the reason you still have to be careful, Wesley, obviously, because I'm stacking into Magicka. Some people don't like that, but I like that as you can just spam heals. It's brilliant with the Chaos Ball as well, as you can really take some punishment with just constantly spamming heals. Um, and the stamina and recovery, like I said, you are heavy attacking. Uh, you gank by doing a shadowy disguise heavy attack into whatever you're doing either a merciless resolve or a dawnbreaker um, so as long as you're heavy attacking i find the sustain okay it can be a bit um like lacking if you're really hitting lots of targets at once um you just need to know how to manage it it is is manageable i mean i used the i always use the bewitch sugar skulls just for the max resources but um you can probably swap that out for maybe the dubious camera and throne, but you're going to lose damage. See, this build is all about just pushing the damage to the absolute limit. Um, I could run, obviously, a higher max magic of food, but I just don't think that would be worth it, though. Um, yeah, obviously, make, you, make sure you stage three. Um, but yeah, so it's a pure, pure damage build. Because um, it's just all about ganking, hitting super hard and getting out of there quick. Um, and people will struggle, once you get used to the build, people will struggle to take you down when you're escaping. As you've got such, you can spam the heels, spam the cloak. It really is a uh, hit and run sort of build and it's very effective in battlegrounds. I'll show the champion points as well if you're not in battlegrounds and you want to do a bit of Cyrodiil. Again, stack into all critical damage, so the fighting finesse, the uh, master at arms. Uh, I've dropped deadly aim as it doesn't uh, buff the uh, whirling blades. So I put the untamed aggression uh, and obviously the backstabber for more critical damage. So you can play around with these, you could put Exploiter if you're hitting with the Concealed Weapon as the off balance. Or you can throw on Raffle Strikes. And obviously the green, you just want your Steeds Blessing, Liquid Efficiency as you're cane through potions. And um, the red one, again I'd recommend the Bastion to cut through people's shields. Um, go into the recovery ones. I wouldn't bother too much about the um, the armor as you'll go down. You know, if you're hit with things anyway, so it's not really going to save you much. Maybe a bit of extra health, and obviously your movement rate is good. But obviously, play about with these how you feel. Um, like I said, with the swords, I made them sharpened. But obviously, you could, obviously because the pen's so high, you could put them both as Nern honed, you know, and say if you was a high health, you obviously get more weapon and spell damage. You could, this build would push to 9k and probably slightly over. But obviously, because I'm trying to get a balance of the highest critical damage possible or as close as possible with the highest sort of weapon damage and penetration so nothing is really lacking 
the uh, weapon critical is a little bit low. I think it's around 36k, but it's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, so that's the build. Um, I'll be doing a couple more uh, dual wield gank ones, and then I'll be moving on to other stuff. Um, so if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and drop us a like and any comments if you need to know anything else about the build. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.